Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another vlog type video for you guys. This is kind of like a weekly reset, just getting back from spring break, had a nice relaxing time with the kids, but now I kind of need to get back on track. So sit back, grab a snack, relax, and let's get right into it. My babes i am at the gym finally i have not been to the gym i'm not joking probably in over two weeks i was having a really hard time getting here just because i had so much going on and in this past week we've had spring break and we've been gone at the farm did do like a lot of walking and a little bit of running there i just haven't had the time to get to the actual gym and i cut myself really bad Right before I left and unfortunately for me my daughter Navy likes to play doctor a lot and she took all the band-aids and used them for like her stuffed animals and baby dolls and stuff as she was playing doctor so I had none I have been using this rag literally to hopefully stop the bleeding it has taken so long to stop i'm gonna ask the gym here if they have band-aids after i work out i'm going to get lunch for the babies and i and then i'll probably shower change my clothes we're gonna head to kroger to get groceries and then we're also going to be going to costco i'm gonna be doing a costco run today with my mom i usually do but i just want to get in there i need some diapers and then i also want to get snacks and stuff for kale and the kids going into this new week yeah kind of doing like a a Sunday reset but it's really kind of a two-day thing so I'm gonna name it like a weekly reset it's hard for me to get everything that I want to or need to get done kind of in a full day just because I obviously have the kids a lot of things behind the scenes when I'm kind of in a rush it's really hard for me to film everything I'm doing so things that you probably didn't see I started a load of laundry of our bath towels and linens things like that so I washed those those were in the dryer I pulled them out before I got here I washed Kale's bedding his is currently in the dryer and then I started my bedding as well. I washed navies right before we left for the farm. So I'm not gonna do those again because she didn't sleep on it all week. I started my bedding right before I left here. Obviously I've breastfed the baby, I fed the kids. Cleaned up just a little bit. There wasn't really much to clean up again because we weren't home all week and we took care of that before we left. I was kind of in a rush to get to the gym this morning because I really need to go get groceries and stuff today. I didn't film it just because it takes time to like place my phone 
make sure the angles are right, which my angle was not right getting ready this morning in the mirror. So I apologize for that. So I've done a lot this morning here at the gym. I'm going to be doing cardio, legs and butt. I'm gonna try to do it within an hour, 30 minutes of cardio and then 30 minutes of weightlifting going to try to get better about being here moving forward i said i was going to start a cut and honestly i have failed i have gained weight i don't know if anybody can tell but i've actually gained weight because i said i was going to go on this cut to keep losing weight and i decided to learn how to cook instead i have been cooking like crazy and i've been cooking like these full course meals and in my mind i'm like i'm doing such a great job cooking my food is so good lately i need to fill up my plate and maybe fill it up twice and then i wasn't going to the gym so i got on a scale yesterday and i was like hmm okay the cut is not going well for your girl so i told myself this morning we're doing a reset let's get back into it still i want to cook but i need to be more mindful about my portions obviously i am trying to lose a little bit more weight i lost a lot of weight after i gave birth and was breastfeeding but i'm kind of in the phase not breastfeeding as much she's eating more solid foods the weight is not really falling off like it was in the beginning since i still want to lose weight I want to be more mindful of my portions, how much I'm eating, and I want to get moving more. In the beginning, I was walking a lot. I was going to the gym. I was consistent. I was eating healthier because really all I craved at the beginning of my postpartum was like raw vegetables and fruit, but now I really crave a lot of things. So I'm just eating, eating, eating constantly because I feel like I'm always hungry and I can't be doing that with my goals. On top of getting everything cleaned, getting new groceries and stuff, the reset is also for me to focus back on my fitness journey. I am going on vacation this summer with family. I wanna look good, I wanna feel good. Not that I don't already feel good because honestly, your girl's really feeling herself lately. The body for me, for me, my body is bodying right now. But I don't wanna get too carried away with eating. I want to progress. I want to see more muscle definition. I want to see a flatter tummy while keeping the legs and the booty a little thick. You know, I'm trying to get back into my slim, thick figure. I'm in a bathing suit this summer and I want to see myself in photos because when other people take photos of me, why do I not look like the photos I take of myself? Does anybody else have that problem? I swear when I take photos of myself, I think I look so great. And then when other people take photos of me, I'm like, Who's, who is that? Who is that girl? So I want to get to a point where other people take photos of me. I'm like, girl, you've had three what? Three kids? You? That's what I want to feel like this summer. Let me put my bestie bracelet back on. For those of you that don't know, my dad got us these friendship bracelets. <laughs> and it was actually his birthday this past Saturday. So wish a happy birthday to my dad, a belated birthday. with the gym I only did three exercises because I just wanted to focus on mind to muscle connection really wanted the burn so after I did the elliptical for 30 minutes which today I did it on level five super set of sumo squats with a dumbbell and then RDLs with the dumbbell so I did four sets of those Head and get lunch I think I'm gonna go to salad and go kale really likes that get us some lunch and then like I said I'm gonna shower and we're gonna go to the grocery store also I'm not wearing any makeup today oh I'm missing a nail don't look at that I'm not wearing any makeup Makeup today I decided Sundays are gonna be my no makeup days like no matter what I'm just not going to wear makeup on Sundays sunny now to go get my car wash because it poured the past two days 
I picked up this little protein box for Imran. It's a boiled egg, cucumber, and chicken. And then I got myself a Cobb salad wrap. Kale and maybe a chicken Caesar salad wrap. So we're gonna eat this and then I'm going to shower. scent today for the stores okay so we're at costco first and we actually need to hurry i was gonna come to costco first anyway just because i'm not gonna get any like cold items here but i forgot costco closes early on sunday so we got about 40 minutes <laughs> to get in and get out maybe say hey yo hey <laughs> imran hi say hey yo Y'all, Navy cut her hair again all by herself. So she's got kind of a mullet going on right now. This is what we're working with when it's in a hair tie. I, yeah, she cut her hair again. Yeah, look at that. I probably will shave it off to be honest and just let her start over. Cause it's a mess. We're definitely getting these per usual, but this time I'm seeing they have the Yogi's strawberry, but with nuts. These aren't normally here. I would prefer if it was just the like berry covered yogurt snacks, but those have the nuts in them. Look at these Korean barbecue snack bites. Is it like, oh, smoked and seasoned tender cuts of pork. So kind of like beef jerky, but pork. Here's some uh, chili tamarind gummies. I bet those are good. Here we go, size five diapers. This is such a good deal because if you go to like Walmart or Target and you get size five, you're gonna get maybe half the diapers for the same price, but they also have Huggies, only for a little bit more, but still a better deal here than at Walmart or Target. Pull-ups, those are diapers. There's pull-ups right there though. What are these? Chocolate and vanilla Irish cream flavored donut holes. Yeah, and Navy's like, let's get all of these. The Boston Cream Mini Bunt Cakes. I bet those are so good. They have cranberry, orange, white chocolate duet bites, little muffin bites, and brownies. I might get some of these for Kale's lunches, maybe. We normally get the apple pie, like the muffin one of the Bobo, so we're going to try these. Okay, we got everything that we needed, I feel like. They're about to close, so we're going to check out, and then we're going to head over to Kroger. <laughs> I actually forgot my grocery list, so hopefully I'm able to remember everything that I needed. Ooh, strawberries are on sale. Hang on, let's look at them. Won't lie, none of the strawberries are looking good today, so I think we're gonna pass. I did put these on my list, but oh, well, these look okay. Well, no, there's some that are nasty in there. We might skip strawberries today. Grapes are also on sale today though, and these look good. Blueberries are on sale. Let me see. Well, that one's, mm, hang on. I'll hand them to you to put in there, okay? Nope, nope, nope. This one's good. Hold it tight, okay? Ready? Hold it tight. There you go. Now, can you put it in the cart? Watch the other fruit. There you go. Good job. Way to go. This, this one right here. You want to put it in the cart? Yeah. Here you go. I'll do it. Good job. That one looks good. I have Peeps cereal. Never seen that in my life. I don't really eat Peeps. Okay, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. She's content right now, but she was 
screaming just a second ago and Navy is running around like a chicken with their head cut off. I'm getting overstimulated. I'm pretty sure I didn't get half of what I needed and a lot of stuff that wasn't even on the list. So we're gonna check out and then I'll show you guys everything that we got at home. Oh, Reese's Puff Bunnies! They have Reese's Puff Bunnies. How cute. Oh, buy two, get three free. Back home now, I'm gonna show you guys everything we picked up from the store. I got a bunch of pouches for Imran. This is Kroger's brand. I think they were like 79 cents or 89 cents for these. So I got a bunch of those, picked up some chicken. I was gonna get the larger pack, but none of them really looked good. I have a chicken aversion. So if it looks like I have to cut too much off to make it look appetizing to me, I can't do it. I will seriously gag and throw up. Like these things, I, I have to cut them off. If there's any red spots or like blood, I can't. I have to dissect my chicken before cooking it because of my aversion or I will honestly throw up. Sounds dramatic, but I'm being very serious. <laughs> I got some eggs. I got the pretzel buns. I got two packs because they were actually on sale today. So I got two of those, blackberries, blueberries, grapes, the halos. I really wanted strawberries, but they did not look good today. And then bananas, I got some more carrots. And I got some bell peppers. I'm gonna be making the Rasta pasta this week. Some of you guys have asked me to show more of my cooking, especially now in my videos. I am going to try to remember to film some like more vlogs for you guys, showcase what we're having for dinner and stuff. And I'll try to remember to film it when I make the Rasta pasta. I'm really excited about that. And I got some cheese, some apples and lettuce. Didn't get to finish my grocery shopping the way that I wanted to. I swear I didn't get half of what was on my list. The fruit and stuff was there and like the bell peppers I know and the chicken was on there, but I know I needed so much stuff for the meals I plan on making this week. So I'll have to make a Walmart order to just get delivered for the rest of it. This big thing of tortillas. You guys know we love wraps and things like that. And I'm also making chicken tacos, milk. The pot hearts were actually on sale. They were on sale already and then they had a digital coupon which made them super freaking cheap. Like I've never seen pop tarts that cheap. So I got the wild berry. These are actually my favorite and I haven't had them in a really long time. And then brown sugar and cinnamon. I actually really like the blueberry. We have never had the raspberry. Normally we would get the cherry or the strawberry, but this was kind of sounding appetizing to me. So I picked up that since they were on sale. Got a ton of cereal, two boxes of the cinnamon checks, which we love. Cereal was also on sale today. I actually had a buy two, get three free. I didn't see that till after I picked up the cereal. I would have kind of gotten actually more of the cereal had I seen that but Imran was not having it. So we just left, unfortunately, but they had buy two, get three free of General Mills. <laughs> and, and Navy's really excited. I got Reese's Puffs, Apple Jacks. I know you do. And I got peanut butter crunch. This big box of chips. I didn't get the waffles that I typically get. I did pick them up and then I put them back because I really only went there for snacks. I'm regretting not getting the waffles that I always get because they're the best. But I did get these Bobo's PB and J's. Black Forest gummy bears. Yeah, Yogi's, which are my favorite. And honestly, these gummy bears are really freaking good. Dots pretzels. I'm kind of addicted to these. If you've never had Dots pretzels, I highly suggest trying all of their flavors. These are the bomb.com of pretzels. These are the holy grail. Navy wanted this, so I got for her the goldfish pack 45 are in here with the rainbow cheddar pretzel and vanilla cupcake, which I've never had. I got some of the skinny pop popcorn. I really love this stuff. Diapers. So that is it for the grocery haul today. Like I said, I'll probably make a Walmart order tomorrow to get delivered. Tonight, I'm gonna kind of tune out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm just gonna make spaghetti for dinner because it's already late. I need to hurry up, cook dinner, get the kids all bathed, and get them in bed because school starts back up tomorrow. So I will check back in with you guys the next day. Want to get this open today? Navy actually kind of started opening it already. We got another 
love every package this is not sponsored by them but they did send this to me i still have a code for you guys if you want to purchase some love every for your kiddos it's a little discombobulated because she already started opening it when i wasn't present so i'm not sure what is this no it's not closed you know what this is I think it's a tent. Okay, this, so it's not assembled yet, so I can't really show you, but this is a kind of puppet center, a little play tent. So it's gonna look like that with the little window on it for the puppets, obviously. But it also shows other ways that you can put the little tent. Your kids wanna make like a fort or something that's cute. And here's little eyes. I thought these were oven mitts. I was like, is this for cooking? But I'm gonna assume this is for the puppet. It. so there you would attach the eyes she's so excited look how cute look how cute oh my goodness so you put these on your hands mama okay so this is what one of them looks like and then she has the other one how cute are these oh my gosh with all the little different eyes that you can use for emotions and things like that. I love it. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, here's another eye. Okay, so we gotta make sure we keep all of these together, okay? Okay. Here's the booklet. I'm gonna assume, what is this? I'm gonna assume that is for the puppet tent as well. Here we have a letter sounds animal puzzle. Oh, you want to open that up? Yes. Oh, how pretty. This is going to be so perfect for your school center. Oh, You're so excited. I love that. You're going to play with it? Okay. One obviously comes with another book. Adela comes home. Assuming this is for if you want to make like the fort and stuff that I showed. Those are building pieces. Assuming this is building pieces as well. Yes, building pieces, building pieces. And what is this? <gasps> Navy. Oh my gosh, you are going to be so excited. You have your own mop. Sleep it. You want to sleep it? Mm -hmm. You have your own mop. Just like mommy's. Oh my gosh, how cute. I can't fix it. You have to attach this part. Okay, I attached it for her really quick. When I tell y'all this girl loves to help sweep and mop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you love it? Yes. Looks like it actually does work. So I'll have to put some water in there later when we're cleaning. That way she can use it. I think that is adorable. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk right here. You're gonna mop right there? Don't walk right here. Oh, don't walk right there. That's right. We can't walk where we just mopped. that is so cute of this kid not as many like little things as the previous two mostly because of the theme but this one came with much bigger pieces we're gonna kind of clean out her school center a little bit it's a bit messy Over here don't look at my backyard no there are a ton of weeds it obviously needs to be mowed we've been gone we're gonna mow it and gonna put like the weed fertilizer stuff whatever down so don't pay attention to the backyard but we're gonna clean this up and i have the chairs and stuff up because i'm gonna run the robot vacuum here once it's done charging but we're gonna clean this organize it and then i'm gonna pitch navy's tent and we'll probably put the tent in her room <music>
I've been trying to put books in her school center that go with whatever holiday is coming up. However, we don't really have very many Easter books. I did get Easter books for their Easter basket this year, but we're just going to kind of put happy fantasy type books. So we got this one. She's obsessed with unicorns. I didn't know if y'all knew that or not. This book, actually these two, my mother got navy. This book is super cute. And then this book, I love this book. This book I just picked up for her at Kale's Book Fair. He also got a book, but y'all, when I tell y'all this story made me so emotional. It's deep. I was not expecting that at all. I was reading it and I kind of got choked up. I'm not even kidding. I was like, why is that a kid's book? <laughs> but it's actually probably really good for kids. I just was not expecting it to hit me in my heart the way that it did. Rabbit book, which is kind of Easter. So we're gonna put that here. This is a good springtime book. This is also my Nana's favorite book. Got this for Navy last Easter in her Easter basket. So we're gonna add that. And then I think we're gonna add these princess hair, mindful Mr. Sloth and be by the sea which i think all came from my mom as well my mom works at a school so she gets all the good books maybe i'll get more easter books before the time comes that way i have more holiday themed books for them when it comes to like setting up the school center and stuff i probably won't decorate the school center this year for easter just because i forgot easter was in march this year and i'm already behind i don't really have easter decorations but it is something that i want to do and honestly i forgot about saint patrick's day so i didn't do that either but we're gonna get better about it uh, i'm gonna add this house back to the school center this is also from love every she got this in her last box i put that there Put the garage of the house next to the books. Let's do it like that. I kind of like to have things staggered. I just think it looks cuter. Another thing from her lovely box. I don't think we're technically in spring yet, but it's like spring weather here. So I'm going to put the spring picture in. Well, one needs to go in the back there. I'm missing a shape here, so I'll have to go and find that because I'm not sure where it's at. The van is from Love Every and it actually came with a tent, but Navy got toothpaste and stuff all over the tent. It was not savable, so I threw it away. But we still have the van, which is cute. I'm gonna have some people out sleeping. And there is actually another car that came with the house, but I think it's in my room right now and Imran's in there sleeping, so. I'm not gonna mess with that. We'll have one person driving. You mopping? <laughs> Change the weather today. It is sunny. Emery just woke up. Here's the current school center set up. The books, which again, I plan to get some more Easter books just to have them. Little playhouse, the weather and day of the week, play chart, the camping trip, people without their tent. This board I actually got her for Christmas from Amazon and it does come with a pin. It had a string attached, but she broke it off. So I put the pin away so we don't lose it unless we're using the actual board, but it's a magnetic pin and you drag the balls to their color of truck. Still need to find the oval, but yes, I got this one from Amazon. Her little feelings, wiggles, her counting toy, and then all her workbooks and flashcards right there. So if you guys know, she has like a six hole cubby of like markers, paints, paint markers, crayons, and colored pencils and stuff. Need to find some like spring coloring books. She got a unicorn one, which I showed you guys in like a previous shop of me and she's already been through all of it. So I need to get some more coloring books. But this is what we're working with right here for right now.
up my to-do list for tomorrow right here. I'm going to put important things and I probably have more to do. My grocery order from Walmart is actually on the way and I'm going to get off here soon, but I want to show you guys what I picked up for the kids Easter baskets really quick and shout out to my mom. She got me all this stuff to get back into kind of my bullet journaling type things. I'll be doing this in the closet because I don't want to get everything out and then have to put everything back my kids are nosy but i did get four of these baskets one of them is for me i'm gonna be filling my own easter basket because you know what i can do that i feel like as a single mom even if i wasn't a mom if i was just single and by myself my parents do fill me an easter basket and like a stocking and things like that for every holiday valentine's gift my parents do that for me but at the house i feel like it is important if you are single to do this for yourself like just celebrate the holidays or if you're a single mom like me i mean fill up your basket and your stocking and a valentine's day gift for yourself to open with your kids. Like, let your children see that you love yourself too. You know what I'm saying? Or that the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus loves you too, whatever. But especially on Valentine's Day. Like Valentine's Day, holiday of love, and you should be loving yourself. So fill yourself a basket, girl. Anyway, I got four of these. I got this type of basket this year because I was like, I can reuse these for toys and things like that and I was gonna alternate they had two different colors at Walmart I was gonna get the girls purple and then kale green but that's obviously an odd number and if I want to use some of her toys and stuff I didn't want three purple and one green you know what I'm saying got everybody green and actually Navy said she would prefer green herself that's the baskets and then to separate whose is who, I got different colored tissue paper. I'm also going to get the grass, probably in a similar color of the tissue paper or something that complements it. Navy, y'all know she loves pink, so I got that for her. I got the peach one for me, the hot pink for Imran, and then I got yellow for Kale. Usually the kids get a new swimsuit every Easter because that's kind of how my parents did it for me as well and my sister growing up. So this is Imran's new swimsuit. And then this is Navy's. I haven't gotten Kale's swimsuit yet, so I do need to go back to the store. But this is the back, obviously. I was walking into... Was, did I get this from Target or Walmart? I feel like I got this from Target and and we were walking by the swimsuits. Navy lost her marbles with this one. I was like, yeah, that's cute. And then when she turned around, I stuffed it at the bottom of the cart. <laughs> so she wouldn't see me get it. So she's going to be really excited for that. I did get three outfits for Imran for the warmer weather. He needs clothes for a springtime in the nine month size and 12 month size. I will probably add this one and this one to her Easter basket maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking these two because it will also kind of complement her swimsuit with the purple. So I'll probably put all three of these in Imran's basket. This one I will just put in the dresser. I thought these were cute. I don't know if I'm going to put these in the baskets. I haven't decided yet because I don't know. I mean, I don't think the kids would really care about these. But these were in the dollar spot at Target. They're reusable food wraps made with beeswax. And I just thought they were so cute. We love to go on picnics, which is kind of why I thought about getting these. I thought aesthetic-wise for our picnics, they would be great. They're reusable, so eco-friendly, you know what I'm saying? They're very springy, so I thought this would be cute to add to everybody's Easter basket, especially because of the colors, but I don't know. What do you guys think? They probably won't care about that like I would care about that, so maybe I'll put them, maybe I'll just put all of them in my Easter basket. That's what I'll do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So I got myself these for our picnics. <laughs> Add this here to Imran's Easter basket. They had a carrot and beet one for springtime. Also in the Target dollar spot, I found these cute water toys for babies that were Easter themed. So we got the egg. So we got the little ball with the bunny and his carrots. Look how cute. 
cute. This color egg. This ball has a little frog in it. I got this for Navy's basket. It's a gummy bear light. I did get each of the kids a crayon bubble. I do purple for Emrin. Match her stuff and the green one for Navy since it will match her swimsuit. And then the blue one for Kale. I haven't decided if I want to put this in Navy's basket or not. I wasn't planning on putting like everyday clothes in the older kids' baskets. So far for candy, really, I found these carrot-shaped Sour Patch Kids. I'm obviously not putting one of these in Emrin's because she cannot eat them. I didn't get them for myself, but I probably should have. We love Sour Patch Kids. thought because they were carrots, that would be cute. I got everybody a book. Kale's really into kind of scary things. So I got him this. I think this will be something that he would like to read. I wanted to get him something that wasn't like a graphic novel or a picture type book. I wanted a chapter book and I feel like if it's scary then he'll want to read it. He's in that stage right now where scary is cool so. And I haven't decided whose I'll put in. I might put this in navies because it kind of matches her swimsuit. Little Blue Truck Springtime. We love Little Blue Truck books. We don't have this one. And then God, this book was so cute with the hearts. I mean, uh, I don't know. I love the illustration of this. And I was like, I have to get it. This isn't technically an Easter book. I had grabbed one, but then I saw this and I was like, I'm in love. I think this is the cutest little illustrated book. And then for me, I have been dying dying to read this series. I've heard it's kind of smutty. I've heard it's addictive and I really want to read it. It was on sale so I was like this is a sign for me to get it for Easter. But yeah so that's all I got so far. Everybody's getting a book. Everybody will get a bathing suit including myself. I actually really do need a swimsuit. Some toys for each of the kids. More snack items for the kids and then candy. Unintentionally I feel like I color match things really well. Look how great this is pairing together. So I said I was going to do the blue for this and I got Kale the yellow paper and his book has blue and yellow in it. So when I go for the rest of his basket, I'm going to remember kind of his color schemes are green, yellow, blue, maybe some black in there. That's going to look so cool when I put it together. And then I was putting navy stuff in one and her swimsuit has all sorts of colors. Yellow, blue, green, pink, peach, different color pinks, different shades of green, which is everything in this little blue truck book. The bear kind of accents that other pink. I don't know if you guys can see how close they match in color, which is great. The green goes within her suit and her book. The orange, same thing. And even the pink goes in the book and the suit. So that's really coming together. And then Emirates, I was like, oh man, I shouldn't have picked hot pink. But then I was putting stuff in there. There's hot pink in her snack, hot pink in her clothes, hot pink in the book. And the book has all these different colors. So the purples go within the toys and her bubbles, her swimsuit. I was like, wow. And then to top it off, I picked peach for mine. And obviously this is a blue book. So when I get the rest of my stuff, I'm going to try to play off the peach and blues. But the peach is in the packaging of the sandwich wraps. And it's also in the print. So I'm going to try when I get the rest of my stuff to focus on blue, peach, orange, green, and maybe I'll try to find something a little yellow to go in there or white. You see how cute? Like what? I didn't even, I didn't even plan that. The fact my mind just worked that way, I know y'all see it. I can't be the only one seeing the color patterns for their baskets. I'm obsessed. Okay. I have to go though. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Here comes Davey. I got to go. Bye guys.